Hello everyone, and welcome to Learning Words for Kids Game Spotlights. This is a series where we'll be walking through some of your favorite games and talking about how playing them can help you get better at real world skills. If you want to know more about how to take your gameplay to the next level, visit learningwordsforkids.com and learn more about how video games can be a part of a balanced play diet. Today, we're going to be talking about Unravel. In this gorgeous puzzle platformer, the player controls Yarny, a little creature made entirely out of yarn. You move Yarny through the environment manipulating objects using the yarn from your own body in order to clear the various levels. Players need to use their planning skills when playing Unravel because Yarny does not have an infinite amount of yarn to work with. If the player makes too many moves that are not necessary, the player will need to go back and try a different option. Having an idea on how to solve the puzzle rather than diving in and having to explore various options can save you a lot of time. But if you're the kind of person who likes to jump right in and get your yarn hands dirty, flexibility can help you try different routes and approaches to solving some of the environmental puzzles in the game. Unravel can also help the player with their self-awareness skills. Levels in the game are accessed with memories that stem from photos that Yarny finds. The memories are not always positive, so the player experiences some pretty tough feelings as they are moving through the game. Also, as Yarny moves to the later levels of the game, the tone changes and makes the player think more about how the world around Yarny is changing due to the technology that is present. What is your favorite level to play in Unraveled? What is your favorite move that Yarny can do? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see new reviews and playthroughs every week. Well, that's all the time we have for today, but be sure to join us for the next Game Spotlight at learningwordsforkids.com.